The CASA program, I felt like it did so much and helped me so much. To have somebody, to be able to talk to somebody on the outside, not judging you. It was because of my dad's substance abuse and alcoholism. His alcohol use got pretty out of control and some traumatic events ended up bringing in Child Protective Services, which is how I was placed in the foster system. I think the, the key with her and I think with probably the, anybody, any of them is trust. I ended up having multiple social workers since I didn't just have one and I ended up getting another one. I had, I think, multiple therapists. Most people were constantly in and out, but Peggy was the only one that was always there for me throughout everything. When I went to court, she was a really big support because at that time, it, it was hard seeing my dad. My dad was mad at me. My dad was mad that I told them what I told them. Like, I love my dad, but you know, I had to tell him the truth about what was going on because I knew like it wasn't right. The thing that re I find so remarkable about her is she has a really strong sense of justice. And if she doesn't think something's fair or something's right, she doesn't hesitate to speak up. It was scary going to court and knowing that my dad was gonna be there, even though I loved him and I, everything. She has very high personal integrity. She was there even before court to talk to me about what's going to be happening, what's going to be going on, and what to expect as far as she knew. She was always there to sit, just even sit with me, just being by my side. It made me feel way more comfortable just knowing that she was there to be supportive of me. When the case, you know, closed and she was reunited with her dad, I think I said, you know, this closes the case for me, and I, you know, I don't have any official or legal responsibility anymore, but if you still want me to, you know, to be here for you or whatever, just let me know. And I was like, no, I don't want you to leave. This is like the biggest experience of my life. Like, even though it wasn't necessarily the best one, but this was such a big experience. Like, I couldn't imagine her going away. All the things that she helped me do and the support that she's given me, I couldn't just imagine her disappearing. And I was like, no, I don't want you to leave. And I ended up becoming pregnant with my daughter once I got out of the system. So she called me actually that night and was quite upset and crying and everything and said, oh, I got pregnant. And, yeah. and anyway, I just let her talk. Even though she really wasn't my CASA anymore, she was still there for me. She's still my friend. And I had decided it's her decision. Just let her figure her way out and help her not to be talked into anything by anybody else. And so it took a while. But in the end, she said, you know, I'm gonna keep this child because I could never live with myself if I don't. And I said to her, that's, that's good. You're right, you do that, you know? And so trying to build her strength to make her own decisions, because it's a big one. And it's a life-changing one. And she's done so well. I mean, it's really great. Oh, I love being a mom. I mean, becoming pregnant at 15 and then having her at 16 and then taking care of her alone for the first year because of her dad's drug problem and things like that. It was hard, but I would, wouldn't change anything. I love her so much. Like, she's my motivation to get through everything. Like, to get through high school, she was my motivation to continue college, to continue my education, to better her life and mine. So I love being a mom. Well, she went from being uh, 14 and hating school and not going to school to deciding that she was, in fact, going to go to college and come to Sierra College. Everyone, like, wonders, like, how do you go to school? How do you do all this stuff? Like, how do you, how are you still, like, a teenager? Like, and I'm just like, you just get used to it. Like, you just, I couldn't imagine not having her. I just did it. <laughs> she wants to do social work with other kids. She's well-suited for it and has I think the determination and the love in her heart to actually do that. I love helping kids. I relate to the, not all, but some of the situations. I relate to being taken away from your family. If someone's thinking about becoming a CASA, I do think it's important that you like kids. They deserve a fair shake. They probably have not had that. You just have to be there for your kid. Mm -hmm.